Hey guys, Jonathan Slinsky here with Long Range Tactics. One of the things I always get asked is what's the inside of the ambulance look like. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour today. Alright, so one of the reasons I decided to go with an ambulance conversion is for the external storage. So in this first cabinet, I've got all my range stands, uh, or target stands, excuse me, for my favorite targets and for my steel that I use on uh, 22 shoots. In the next cabinet, I've got my range box and some stuff for the truck. So I've got a battery charger just in case the trucks die because the box runs off the same batteries the ignition does. Uh, so some spare flooring that I'm using as backsplash and then my box of targets down there. Uh, and then I've got some AR500 steel sitting on the bottom. My next cabinet is where I've got the generator that I can run the box off of because it runs off shore power and a bunch of just extra supplies and stuff for the truck, the maintenance of the truck. Uh, I've got a diesel jug, even though I don't have any diesel in it right now, uh, and some fix-it flat. And then on the other side, this tall one right here, I've got another uh, bucket of targets and the bucket I use for as a prop sometimes, another target stand, and I usually keep my weed eater in there as well just because it's nice and big. And then my last external cabinet is this one, which I can also access from the inside. And I've just got a bunch of extra tools, uh, some products from Impact Data Books, and then I keep my ammo, my brass bucket, and some extra stuff down there. And then going to the inside, because I know what you all are uh, really want to see. So I've got my internal access to that one cabinet that I was just in. All right, I've got my captain's chair. Zoom this out a little bit. Uh, my workbench, which I put a vise on so that I can do some basic gun work. Uh, this comes up, so I've got kind of an L-shaped desk for that captain's chair when I decide to use it. I've got my toolbox, which in this top section, I've just got a bunch of random parts, punches, spare brakes. I've got a spare AR trigger in there. I've got some spare uh, firing pin springs for voodoo's in case somebody's voodoo goes down at a match. Just got a bunch of extra tools and files for whenever garage gunsmithing needs to happen. My scope leveling kit, my Badger Dead Level, that thing is awesome. I highly recommend looking into those if you guys end up leveling a bunch of scopes. And then a bunch of other just random parts and some products and stuff like that. And then I've got my fridge, which I store food and stuff up in the top just because it works best as a cooler because it runs offshore power, so it doesn't actually function while I'm driving yet. And then the bottom, which is definitely just for water. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to that. Uh, obviously, have to have a TV, and then I can actually mount that on that bracket, comes down, and goes in between the doors when those are open. So when I teach courses, I can have the TV uh, in between the two doors looking out, so everyone can kind of just circle up around the back of the battle wagon and go through the PowerPoints. Tons of internal storage for various things. Uh, I'm eventually going to put a microwave here, uh, more storage up here, up in this little box. I just installed my phone scope uh, cell phone signal booster, uh, so that'll hopefully get me a little bit more cell phone reception when I'm at some of these matches that are in remote places. All right, then the bed section. So this here is actually pull a pullout twin size. I'm eventually going to put a futon top on top of it, but it opens... And that platform pulls out. I've got a blow up mattress right there and it comes into a twin size bed. And then I have my bunk bed. So that's the leg of it that would normally come down. That came down a little fast, but that's my bunk bed. So that leg would come down to support it right there. So I can throw a small mattress up there and two of us can sleep here. And actually that platform down there separates. So if we did it like cot style, I could actually sleep three in here. Um, and then that's pretty much about it. Both these doors open out the back. I've got my uh, triage kit right there so it's always easily accessible and easy to tell people where it's at because it's just inside the back door some coat hooks for my rain gear and that's about it if you guys uh, have any questions let me know or if you have any suggestions as i'm still in the middle of the conversion putting the backsplash in you can see it kind of just cuts off i've still got to finish all that uh let uh, let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you hope you guys enjoyed the tour have a good one